question for the both of you. Uh, is there any like a favorite or silliest blooper moment in your voice acting career? Mm, I think I, I'll, I'll take this one, yeah. Venus, if you wouldn't mind, because I, I don't think so. The whole thing about doing animation voices is that you can be as silly and as kind of ridiculous all the time, so there's really nothing you can really ever do that's going to go wrong, and if it does and it's important to the show, it's just cut and you do it again. Uh, one of the things that I think is so wonderful about animation work for, for actors, it's a tremendous training ground because whereas in, especially on the stage and to some degree in films, you know, if you have a, a character and you've got your lines and you kind of spend a lot of time sort of psych doing psychological insight into what the character might think and might feel mm -hmm. and what its history was and, you know, all this kind of method stuff. Whereas with uh, voice work, you don't have the time. And you've just got to come up with it like that. And you just got to trust yourself and trust your instincts and just go for it. And that's the thing that I always loved about, about voice work. For, for me, I, have to, I, I agree with you. But I have to say, when you're in a studio uh, so close together and uh, it's a confined space, um, any bodily function that has to take place can be kind of blooperish, kind of awkward, like a burp or... You know, I won't go any further, but do you know what I mean? Can be awkward, especially when they get it on tape. Like you open your mouth and you know you hear like, Arr, you know, or something like that. But that's that's about it. No, nothing too too. Uh, I mean, too bad. No, no. 